in the early days of the pandemic, um, you know, we were seeing um, banking and financial institutions and health uh, insurance companies and that sort of thing just bombarded with customer questions and claims and requests for assistance and all that sort of thing. And what we learned very, very quickly was that humans can't do this alone. And that technology is a big part of the of the solution. So, you know, so I would like to talk a little bit about, you know, what kind of technology is needed to address customer touch points in the most effective and efficient ways possible. Absolutely. And and, and that is, is all changing yeah. right now under our feet. In, in days past, we rushed out to individual channels and stood up channel infrastructure. Right. And we thought that would solve it. But all it did is, is created in just individual silos, uh, disjointed experiences, a chatbot experience over here that can only do a small subset of things and answer your store hours and things like that, that waste people's time versus a, maybe a better experience through a, uh, talking with an agent, both a different experience to the mobile app. And so what we saw organizations do is take a step back, well, the ones that did it best. And they said, well, can we reorganize around journey in the center? And if we did that, is there a way to activate it in other ways to kind of cha change the shape and surface area of the types of service we're able to deliver on more than just one touch point? And uh, you mentioned insurance companies. There, there was a, there's a great American insurer, Aflac, who did a great job at this. And when COVID hit, they were able to take the, the processes, the, the journeys that were orchestrated in the center, uh, activated initially in their desktop for their agent, and activate them out to an intelligent virtual assistant on their website that actually understood uh, it was it was UCLA that was there and you were perhaps asking about a claim that you had opened uh, as many many were opening claims uh, and it, it's specific to you in your journey it's not giving you information that's completely generic and that, that was actually the highest volume uh, inquiry type which was claim status right and they, they saw that they were able to resolve uh, fully almost 80% of those inquiries right there in the intelligent virtual assistant. And the reason is it was organized around journey. It was giving you the same level of information that you would be able to get individual contextual uh, information that you would get by speaking with an agent right there 24 by seven. And they, they observed that their MPS scores were, were tremendous. And so this is the changing surface area. And, and think of it uh, as the, the AI and automation being activated really wherever you go. And this ability to almost be autonomous, organized around you and your needs. And this, well, is, this is where it's all going. 